So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add your gas fees to your Solana wallet to claim any airdrop you are mining. I'm going to be using NodePay as an instance because NodePay will soon be listing and they are going to be requiring gas fees from their users in their Solana wallet. So the first thing you want to do is to copy your wallet address and how do you do that? You just simply click on receive since you want to send it. Now it doesn't matter the address, the um, company you are using whether it's phantom wallet as i'm using or soulfully wallet or any other one and then you just simply click on this to copy the address that's it now you want to head over to an exchange like bybit binance okx etc whatever exchange is available in your country and you want to purchase usdt so basically the easiest way to do that if you're in a country where direct purchase of crypto is banned use p2p so you just simply click on p2p and you come over here um if you set to p2p trading we're going to let that load up for a while and you go over to the filter section very very important so you don't get scammed click on filter and click on surely eligible ads and surely verified advertisers and click on confirm then from here you can proceed to purchase you are now free to purchase from any of these people um, just make sure whoever you are dealing with has completed thousands of orders and has at least 98% completion rates. That way you don't get scammed by scammers because there are a lot of scammers on Bybit. And you can equally filter it with the price so that you can work based on your budget right there. So when you are done with that, you are going to be having the USDT in your balance like this. What you want to do is to simply click on convert. Right, so when you click on convert, or you can send it directly right here um, to so. So we, let's just click on manage token list. I don't think they accept USDC. So basically, what we are going to do right now is to come over here, and you're going to convert it to so. Now the minimum sold deposit is usually 0 0.05, and that's the reason I prefer you converting it to another currency or another crypto. Then you put it into the uh, Solana wallet, and right there in the Solana wallet, you can now convert it to Sol. But for now, as you are going to select the what you're going to change it from, which is USDT that you just purchased, and click on turn and click on Sol because that's what you want to send or convert to. You input the amount of USDT you want to convert, and they're going to be showing the equivalent you're going to be getting right here, and you simply click on quote. That's basically how you do it. Now to send it, you click on asset, you click on withdraw, and then you click the currency or the crypto you want to withdraw. Then right here, you paste what you just copied, which is the wallet address that you just copied. Then you select the network, obviously it's under the Solana network, and then you input the amount you want to withdraw right there. So basically, when you input that amount right there, you can then simply click on withdraw and it is going to be withdrawn immediately. I cannot withdraw right here because the minimum withdrawal on Bybit is 0.1 sol and I don't have up to that amount right here. That's basically how it works. So when you do that, automatically it's going to reflect right here in your phantom wallet. Give it a space of 5 to 10 minutes. And from there, you can proceed to claim whichever airdrop you want to claim. So for those of you that are minding Node P, you can just proceed back to the claiming website and redo the process again. And you'll be able to receive your tokens in your wallet. That's basically how it works. If you have any questions regarding this, if you can see them below in the comments, can leave the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, you can check out the links to um, join Bybit or any of these um, airdrops in the comments. See you guys in another one.